Iranian people love their country. They love their territorial in integrity. They do not want the country to be violated by any foreign uh, entity. The majority of Iranians are invested in the idea of providing military support, support to Iran's proxy group. Iranians are in favor of normalizing a diplomatic relationship with the United States and support the nuclear deal. Most of this, uh, most of the population in this survey also say that after this recent conflict between Iran and Israel, Iran is now a stronger position in the region. If the question were to what extent is corruption a cause of Iran's economic problems, I would expect an overwhelming majority of Iranians, perhaps over 85%, to answer very much or to an extent. 63% believe Tehran's foreign policy does not advance the well-being of ordinary citizens. 70% of Iranians do not think the political system gives the youth any prospects for a better life. In, in the past two years, especially since the Mahsa movement, um, wh where really the universities erupted with dissatisfaction and anger, instead of really listening to the reaction, listening to the concerns of the community, of the population, they doubled down on the repressive policies. It would be much easier for the Iranian government if people who are dissatisfied completely leave the country instead of remaining in the country as cogs in the wheel of the system. You know, the professionals are leaving, they're going to neighboring states, Turkey, UAE, everybody's picking up Iranian talent. Many other countries who are not under sanction, who doesn't have the security dilemma in the, re in the region, they have more than Iran, the immigration, you know, the people coming out of the country more than Iran. The economic situation in Iran is a matter of the government's priorities. They pay themselves, they pay the proxies, and then they, they pay um, the, the people.